This is topic 1.1 speedrun. Here's the vocab for the topic. Oxygen is electronegative. So in a water molecule, the electrons are pulled towards the oxygen, making that side more negative and the hydrogen side more positive. This means water is polar. When a bunch of water molecules are together, ends with opposite charges will attract, forming hydrogen bonds with one another. This makes way for the properties specific heat capacity, heat of vaporization, cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. Specific heat capacity refers to the energy required to change the temperature of a substance by one degree. Water has a high specific heat capacity due to the hydrogen bonds that form. And you might have observed this at the pool, where the ground is hot, but the water is still cold. The hydrogen bonds formed by water also give it a high heat of vaporization. This refers to the amount of energy required to turn water from a liquid to a gas. Our bodies take advantage of this when we sweat. Water, when it evaporates, absorbs heat, effectively cooling our bodies down. Cohesion is a molecule's attraction to itself. If you put a bunch of water molecules together, the polarity of the molecules will cause them to form hydrogen bonds, making them stick together. This results in what's called surface tension, where molecules form hydrogen bonds at the surface of the water. This allows certain insects, like the water strider, to stay on top of the water without sinking. The last thing is adhesion. This refers to a molecule's attraction to different molecules. Other molecules can also be polar, which is why water can also be attracted to them. You've probably noticed this when you look out a car window in the rain. And that's everything you need to know for this topic. These are meant to be reviewed, so if you need a more in-depth explanation, find me on YouTube where I go into more detail.